Hello crochet friends, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia and today I'm bringing you this adorable, super versatile crochet lacy mesh poncho. And as you saw from the photos, this is a poncho that can be worn a couple of different ways. This can be worn over a top or as a beach cover up. I did happen to use a cotton yarn here. So that would be great for a beach cover up. And this works up super fast. So the materials that I'm using happens to be a Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. You can use any number three yarn. This is a number three. You'll need a measuring tape, scissors, and the crochet hook is a G or a 4.25. If you have trouble finding a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook, it's okay to go up to the next larger size. The instructions for this tutorial are for a size small through medium. I also show you at the very end how you can change this up if you want to do fringe instead of the scallops. I'll show you how to do that. Now we are going to start with a chain of 80 and then you will form a ring by slip stitching into the very first chain. Now make sure that your chain is completely straight. So when you complete your chain, run your thumb across the chain and make sure that you're, it, you're, it's all nice and straight. Slip stitch, chain one. In the same space, work a single crochet. Then work a single crochet into each chain. So just do this all the way around till you get back to where we started and you should have 80 single crochets. When you come back to where you started, Slip stitch into the first single crochet, chain one. Now in the same space you're going to work a double crochet, chain four, and double crochet in the same space. chain four. Now you're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and to the fourth one work two double crochets. Chain four. I am having so much trouble keeping the yarn in the hook. This yarn actually has proven to be pretty rough. Okay, now skip three. One, two, three, and again two double crochets into the fourth stitch. chain four. So continue this, skip three, one, two, three, work two double crochets into the next stitch. And you are working for nine of these big spaces. So not counting that double crochet space or the corner space, which is what this is here. There's one, two, you need nine of these big spaces. 
So now we've got our nine spaces. This is a corner space, you do not count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you do your chain four. So now we're going to form the second corner. Skip three, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain four. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Double crochet into the same space. All right, so there's that other corner. Double crochet, chain four, double crochet in the same space. Now chain four. You're going to skip three, two double crochets in the same space. So you're working exactly as you did for this side here. Two double crochets in one space, chain four, skip three. Two double crochets, chain four, skip three. All the way till you get back to where we started. Okay, we've done our final chain four. We've got three stitches left. One, two, three. Now we're going to join into that beginning corner with a slip stitch into that space chain one. Now we're going to work another corner into the corner. So work a double crochet into the space, chain four, another double crochet in the same space, chain four. Okay, so this looks a little awkward right now, but it will all work out. <laughs> okay, now we're going to be working into the big spaces. So we're going to work our two double crochets into the big spaces. Chain four. Two double crochets into the next large space. Chain four. Okay, so I figured out why I'm having so much trouble. It's Friday the 13th. It's not the yarn, it's not the moon, it's Friday the 13th. There you go. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So now we'll continue that. And this, by the way, is the repeat row. This is the way we will be working for the entire poncho cake. Okay, so work your two double crochets, chain four, two double crochets, all the way into each space until you get to the corner, and then work your corner. So you're going to do your two double crochets, chain four, then work a double crochet, chain four, and another double crochet into that same space. So now we're back to that corner. So we did our chain four, work our corner with a Double crochet, chain four, and a double crochet in the same space, chain four. So now you can see how the corners are shaping up. Okay, so now you've done your chain four, so now two double crochets in the big space, chain four, two double crochets, and keep going until you get back to the beginning. Now we're back to that first corner. You did your chain four. Now slip stitch into that first double crochet of the corner. Chain one. Then work a corner with the double crochet, chain four, and double crochet in the same space, chain four. Then you will continue in the pattern. So here's how we are looking. 
here's our corners and there are only two corners this is actually the shoulders this will be laying on the shoulder and this is the front and this is the back and this will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing it just automatically increases each row so just keep following the same pattern that same row that you just completed that's your repeat row you will have continued working in the pattern for a total of 26 rows and that will give you the length from the shoulder to the bottom on the table 18 inches on the body 19 inches now to work the scallops after you did your last row and you did your slip stitch into the corner as usual chain one now we're going to work three slip stitches we're trying to get into this first big space okay so we're working into the little chains at the top there so slip stitch into the chain slip stitch and then slip stitch into the top of that double crochet now chain three that will count as a double crochet now we're going to do a double crochet into that large space then work a triple crochet so yarn over twice Go through the first two loops, the next two loops, and the last two loops. And then two more double crochets. So there's your first scallop. Then into the space between those two double crochets below, work a single crochet. Now we're going to work the scallop into that large space. Now we're going to do two double crochets. One triple crochet. And two more double crochets. So there's your scallop. Two double crochets, one triple, two double crochets. Now again into the space between the two double crochets below, do a single crochet. And then work your scallop. And that will be the pattern all the way around. So in each large space, work a scallop. Between the two double crochets, a single crochet, and then another scallop in the large space. When you come to that first corner, work a single crochet into that space and then continue in the pattern now when you get back to where you started at that last corner work your last scallop then enter a single crochet into that corner space And then chain one, leave a tail, cut it off the yarn, and you are done. Now for those of you that prefer fringe for a border, which quite honestly is my preference, I love fringe, but a lot of people don't. It's truly impractical. Um, so for those of you who do like fringe, then I will show you how to do that real quick. So just take two lengths of yarn. If you want some nice uh, thin strands or thin fringe, just two strands, whatever length you like. Fold them over. Take your hook. Bring it under the work. Grab the two strands pull it through get a nice big loop there then pull the strands through that loop pull the strands through 
And there you've got a knot formed at the top. So just squeeze that a little bit to tighten up the knot and that's it. So then go ahead and enter one of these strands into each large space. Now I just wanted to show you that you can also wear this as a traditional poncho with the point on the bottom, in which case your corners would be in the center, or you can wear it as I originally designed it. So if you'd like this project, I encourage you to go ahead and leave a thumbs up down in the space below the video on the YouTube platform. Leave a comment if you'd like. These things are helpful to the channel and even more helpful to me as the designer. I would really appreciate if those of you who are so inclined, you can also go down into that white space. You're looking for the little icon that's shaped like a heart and if you click that open that will allow you to leave a little monetary donation that YouTube calls super thanks and for that I am eternally grateful as you may or may not know crazy cool crochet is my only source of income so every little bit helps and I do appreciate you guys so that's it for the crochet lacy mesh poncho and we will see you on the next project thank you